Hey there, doll lovers. So I have a shopping haul to review with you guys today. I went to the Disney store. I was originally there to search for a uh, Maleficent and the Dragon Tsum Tsum, but they were out. So I'm meandering around, and of course I'm just falling in love with all the Beauty and the Beast stuff. And uh, the dolls I really want, they're like $70, so it's like, I'm just going to wait on those a bit. But all the rest of the basic doll line were $10 each. So I got Mulan and Shag. And the great thing about uh, this particular line of the ladies is they come with an animal companion. So uh, for Merida, she had one of her little brothers in bear form. And Snow White was holding a bluebird, Tiana's got the frog, so on and so forth. I couldn't find Ariel at all, but I've already got two Ariel dolls, so I don't really need a third. <clears throat> but I would have liked to know whether she came with Flounder or Sebastian. Not that I really need either one of those, I just wanted to know. Uh, so we're going to take a look at... Mulan here. She's holding Mushu. And uh, take a look here. Alright, so we got some twisty ties to take care of. We'll do that real super fast here. Now I have a couple of other Disney dolls and I bought them at odd times. So it's like at the same time I bought my Ariel, I bought a Maleficent. And then later on I bought Cinderella and Aladdin. And later I got uh, I mean, uh, Eric. And then I got Aladdin and Naveen. So it's kind of odd about when I was buying them. But now I've decided, you know what, I'm just going to stick to just buying the couples together. So that way I don't have to worry about the odd chance of missing out on a couple. Now this is the great thing. Look at that. Look how easy once I get all the little uh, twisty ties taken care of that she comes right off the box. There aren't any plastic pins in her head securing her to the cardboard. So good job, Disney. Good job. All right, so we're just going to release our dragon companion here. And it would have been nice, I guess. I mean, I love Mushu. I mean, I love dragons, so I'm not going to complain. But I don't know. Maybe her having little brother would have been just as adorable because, come on, he's a silly cute puppy. But look, here's Mushu. Yeah. It is a colorful glory with a little bit of a silly face. Oh, and he can stand. Fantastic. All right, so we have this beautiful cherry blossom background. And Milan is wearing some red maroon colored flats. They are tied down. She's got some tissue paper under her skirt to keep it filled. And then she's got the plastic... Uh, wire here. Now there's a lot of print on the back of her so I just don't, she don't think she would look too good in a bikini. See all this. Unless you want to take some acetone to it wipe it off. It says Disney Store uh, LTD London and then a whole bunch of uh, SKU numbers so that's just letting you know where she's made from but just depending on what you uh, do with your dolls depends on whether having that on there is uh, important or not. But we have her in her beautiful bride dress when she's on her way to meet the matchmaker. Flower in her hair, although it's not uh, really styled. The ponytail has some gel back here in the back. There's a there's a clump where it's just kind of... I can't even get my fingers through it. But it's all slick back. Her face is really well painted. She doesn't have any eye wonk. The dress has a bit of glitter, so some glitter has gotten on her face, but uh, that happens. Regular articulation, uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and head. And of course we have the hip with uh, snap joint knees. Alright, let's take a look over here at our shade. And get this open. Open sesame! Doo -doo -doo. Uh. 
And his does it have? Ugh, oh, his has tape over it. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know why they decided to tape down his twisty tie stuff when they didn't for hers. But okay, whatever. This is a different kind of twisty tie, but that's alright. That's what scissors are for. Yes. Alright. Not really worried about keeping the boxes. All right, a little plastic tie here, and a plastic tie there, and a thread holding his cape down. All right. Seriously? Okay, so they, they pinned his cape to the board. Now Shang here has some really nice detail to him. Okay, so he's got flexible shoulders and elbows, but not wrists. And when you turn his head, you can see he's got plastic molded hair, but he's got a ponytail. So it's uh, like how he actually looks in the movie. I've seen some other dolls where they just kind of have it sh uh, short. His outfit is in two pieces, but he doesn't have all that stuff written on his back. It's, uh, he's got, like, right there above the butt, and he's got gray underwear painted on. And his, uh, boots here, they come off, like so. So it's all just one piece. So he looks he looks really good. Of course, he you can take the uh, shirt off and then pair it up with something else. But you can he can still wear his gray pants. Then he's got a cape, and it goes. Got to get a it a little bit under the ponytail. It velcros in front, and then it looks like it ties. So that hides the velcro. That's well done. What a beautiful couple. All right, so that was what I got at the Disney store. Then we ran over to Hot Topic. And I decided since I couldn't find the Maleficent things I wanted, I was going to get some other Maleficent things. So I got this beautiful patch, and it's $5. See her profile there. And this beautiful sticker. And then I got Articuno, my favorite of the legendary birds. And then this awesome Aladdin's lamp, <clears throat> or I should say Genie's lamp keychain. I already have a Jasmine and Aladdin dolls, so I don't need to worry about not having one of those. But got a nice details around it and it has a little figure charm of Jeannie. I'll take some pictures and post that on my Instagram. But by comparison, it looks well enough that a, one of the dolls can hold it. So got that nice bronzy color and the genie's on a separate chain so it's like I can still keep it as a keychain or I can actually put that on something else so that's that's really cool okay and then afterwards we went to GameStop and I have two blind boxes I have no idea who's in them although what I did I did shake them and it does feel like I have bigger characters than the small ones. So we have the Disney villains. And there is a one in six chance of getting a Maleficent. So, fingers crossed. Uh, 
and they were having a uh, buy one get one half off which is why I got them <sighs> all right they have the nice little fold flaps they're the back, back bag And I got Flotsam and Jetsam, the eels of Ursula. Oh, they look so cute. Oh, and one eye is yellow on either side. And the uh, two eyes together are white. That's adorable. Okay. Now, let's see who's in the second. And that's a 1 out of 12 chance of getting them. The The really rare one is do, to get Dr. Facilier and the uh, Voodoo doll. That's a 1 in 72 chance. <sighs> that's from Princess of the Frog. Okay. Oh, this feels like a small one. Butter Butters. Who'd I get? Are you kidding me? I got doubles. Oh, womp womp. <laughs> all that, all that shaking and testing and moving them all around, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll get this one, and I'll get this one." Okay, well, I guess I get to keep one, and then I get to give one to my daughter because as soon as she sees these, she'll want to play with them too. So I guess it's not a total loss. Happy Easter, baby. Here you go. Here's a pet eel. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching my uh, fantastic doll haul today. And um, if you go to your Disney store, the basic character dolls are $10 each. And if you go to GameStop, blind boxes are buy one, get one half off. All right. Have fun collecting. Bye.